Schwarber drives one in the air to right field. If it's fair, it's got a chance. This ball is going to be a fair ball home run. Cubs lead one to nothing. Kyle Schwarber right down the line in right. And the Cubs get on the board and take the early lead here at PNC one to nothing. But great swing by Kyle as he gets this inside fastball and just fires the hands right down inside it. Uh, wearing your uniform, if somebody goes sure rogue like that, does something on their own. Sam goes deep to left, way back, way back, and it is gone. Bryce Harper with an RBI hit. And that's lead to 2 nothing. A long drive to right. That's going back and back and back into the bullpen. And Wieters with a home run for the Nationals. And they lead it 3 to nothing. Dot with his feet spread apart in the rubber. The 2-0 to Dean, and that's driven deep to left down the line. Soto back at the wall. Goodbye. It's Austin Dean's first major league hit. It's a home run. And the Marlins are on the scoreboard, 5-1 in the seventh. How about that for Austin Dean out of Spring, Texas? The 24-year-old who had hit a total of 12 homers between Jacksonville and New Orleans this year. High fly ball, deep right field, Granderson back, looking up, see ya! Three-run home run for Neil Walker, and the Yankees lead 5-4. to four. Well, Michael, sometimes I open my mouth and say something I shouldn't, and sometimes I don't, and I was just going to say, Coney, nothing has left the yard here for the Yankees. They need a big hit, and that's why Greg Bird's walk is so important. You just pass the baton to somebody who feels a little bit better. Like this. See ya! Oh, what a blast! Seven five Yanks. Wow, Mike, I'm taking half of that call right there, <laughs> huh? I'll tell you what, <laughs> that ball easily went in the seats over the bullpen, and it was just a short, direct swing. A three-one drill, deep right field. Rickard looking up. Gone to Souvenir City. Jose Ramirez has done it again, and he has tied J.D. Martinez for the league lead with his 37th home run. Boy, oh boy, you got to be careful with a fastball to this guy. He threw him the 2-0 fastball, but it was down and in, and Jose... Drive. Left center field. Oh. Philip Irvin walk it off. Guy. Yeah. Here's the pitch on Simmons, and he hits the ball well out into deep left center field. That one's carrying out there. It's out of here. Andrelton Simmons has connected. That is a two run homer, and the Angels are within a run. It's now 5 4, Texas. Andrelton Simmons gets a changeup, and this one is about chest high, and that is where Simmons. Driven to right, get up to right field, Castellanos back, and it's gone. Rosario flicks his wrists and hits his 21st home run of the year. Well, Boyd hasn't made too many mistakes. He looked like he let that breaking ball up, and Rosario jumped all over it. After the walk-off win, we're four games ahead of the White Sox. And in reality, they were never heard from again. This hey, is yo. a blast to left, and it's a one-run ball game. My goodness, Austin almost got it into the third deck in left center. Well, 
a second home run in a twins uniform and it comes against the Tigers again. A drive to right center field and deep. Gone a three run home run for Joe Bauer. Now that's how you pinch hit. The first pinch hit home run for the Twins this year. For Joe Maurer, his fourth home run of the year. And Adam to Abreu, who goes after the first pitch and drills it to left field. The Sox take the lead. One pitch to Jose, and good night. That's a 22nd home run. He's now driven in 76, getting ever closer to triple digits. He had a big opportunity and made the most of it. Sox have a two-run lead courtesy of Jose Abreu. Nicky pounces. Deep right field. Bonifacio has no play. That ball's gone. First pitch ambush. See you later. Nicky Delmonico with five driven in here in the ball game tonight. Great to have you back. Jerko with a drive. How about Big Macklin just to the right of it? A long home run. Jed Jerko, 10th of the year. 3 0 Cardinals. To Bregman. That ball slugged to left. That ball's got a chance. It's deep. And it is gone. A solo shot by Alex Bregman, his 23rd of the season. And just like that, the Astros take a one to nothing lead. Yeah, we've seen Bregman of late get under a lot of balls, pop a lot of balls up. He was out here early for early hitting. Think Astros top of the fifth two out no one on one one and Maldonado hits it high in the air and pretty deep to left field it sends back Martini at the wall looking up see you later Martin Maldonado hits his first home run as an Astro and it is two to nothing Astros Maldonado his second career home run off of Edwin Jackson boy like Bregman he got a cut fastball that Kind of just spun in there, inner third of the plate. Right field! And that baby is gone! We are one game out! Got phenomenal numbers here against the Casey. And he crushes one to deep left center field, way back, and that ball is gone. A first pitch home run for Paul Goldschmidt is 28th of the year, and the D-backs are on the board two to nothing. I'm just gonna say he's got some phenomenal numbers against them. That's why he was our key. Five for seven with the home run, now six for eight with two home runs. Fly ball, left field, struck pretty well. John Jay going back at the wall. He will not make the catch. It is gone. Home run. Opposite field for Eric Hosmer is 12th of the year, and it's now 5 to 3. John Jay tried to time the loop and make the grab, but Hosmer collects his 12th of the year. Giants are under 500. Escobar launches that one deep to left. Perella back, that ball is gone. Off the scoreboard below the second deck, a solo home run for Eduardo Escobar, and the D-backs lead pushed to nine to three. Boy, there was nothing cheap about that home run. 
That hit up over the scoreboard in left field. High drive, deep left field for Manuel Margo. And that ball is gone. Is that the same guy? No. Different guy. Different guy. Because John Jay went up and then he kind of gave it. Really, guy? Really? Up in the Pacific Northwest, the 0 1. Here's a fly ball well hit to left field. It's way back and it is gone. A home run. Yasmani Grandal, his 21st home run of the season. Just his second as a right-handed batter, and the Dodgers have scored first. It's one to nothing in the third. Well, having a history and knowing what LeBlanc can throw, Buehler gets into and out of a jam in the bottom of the third, and the fly ball well hit to left field. Denard Span is going back to the wall, and Machado has hit it out. His third home run with the Dodgers. And they now have a two to nothing lead. Grandal's home run in the third. Machado's home run leads off the fourth. First pitch curveball and Manny Machado went down. One and two, Muncie with a fly ball to right field. That one is well hit. It is on its way and it is gone, a home run. Third home run of the night for the Dodgers. The second here in the fourth. And for Muncie, his 27th home run of the year. And the Dodgers now lead it four to nothing. Muncie continues to hit well against left-handed pitchers and it's this one hard right field. Got some carry on the track. Look at that. And it's gone. A home run for Ryan Healy. He goes the other way for his 23rd home run. And RBI number 60. The Mariners are on the board. It's 4-1 Dodgers. Ryan Healy puts a charge into this one going to right field. 3-0. And Machado with a drive. Well hit to left center field. It's on its way. And that one is gone. Second home run of the night for Machado. A two-run shot. And the Dodgers now leading it. Nine to one. Boy, he got the green light, three balls and no strikes. And he flattened that baseball. Beat the Tigers five to four. As Kemp with a fly ball to center field. Back goes Maven at the wall. He jumps, can't get it. It is gone, a home run. Kemp is getting into the home run hit parade. Second home run for the Dodgers here in the seventh. They now lead it 11 to one.